welcome to Light Kit Getting Started. In the first video we covered installing MP Lab and High Tech C. Went over a Picket Programmer. Part 2 we covered the picks, breadboards, prototype boards and components. And in part 3 we're going to cover building a 12F683 test board. Future videos we'll cover writing our first 12F683 C program and save our compiled C program to a 12F683 uh, newly built test board. And in building the 12F683 test board you're going to need a few components. Uh, one breadboard, you can use a large one or a small one. I'm using an 830 count breadboard. Five 470 ohm resistors, five LEDs, one 12F683, one 10 microfarad cap, jumpers and wires, and an optional switch. Here I'm uh, bending the pins on the pick to fit into the breadboard. It's just going to take a little bit of practice. You just don't want to bend these up when it goes in. Make sure they're all cleared and uh, just easily push it into the breadboard. The notch in the pick indicates pin 1. Just make sure that points out to the edge of the breadboard so it always faces the same direction. And here I'm uh, bridging all the power around the breadboard, make sure the power distribution is taken care of. I just cut jumpers and uh, add these in to connect the reds and the blacks. Making these wires isn't a big deal, you just uh, kind of measure them off so that they go from one point to the next point. Here you can see I'm bridging the positive, the red, and then I'll uh, ground. On this 830 count breadboard, I have to bridge the uh, centers. They're uh, isolated, two different sides. So I run these uh, wires in here to bridge the uh, two halves. Here I put in the uh, picket header pin just as a reference. So I'll know uh, where my wires are running to. And I'll also place a ground on this on uh, pin 3. Notice I've also added a positive and a negative to pin 1 and pin 8 on the pick. And so I just uh, started adding some of these wires and uh, pretty, pretty much I'll stick to the same color scheme on uh, these uh, pick controller wires, uh, green, white, and yellow, and uh, I'll run these up to uh, the picket uh, 4, 5, and 6, pins 4, 5, and 6. I measure them off, just bend them so that they have a decent shape to them so that they don't get in the way. And optionally you could use jumpers for this if you want, but uh, again I like to use uh, for the stuff that's going to stay permanent or fairly permanent on these boards I like to try and run uh, wires instead of uh, jumpers. Just It's just cleaner this way. And here I'm just kind of shaping it and moving it so that it, uh, it's not in the way of anything. So I can get to the pins underneath. I just try and lay it down as clean as I can here. Just do some bending and shaping just to make it uh, not necessarily pretty, but functional, you know, to keep the wires out of the way. If you use jumpers, they, they stand up in the way. One thing to note on here, this header pin, if you're using the optional switch, and you're wanting to use your picket in a stand-up, you'll want to shift all this either left or right, or you'll want to move your switch to the right because you need the clearance. So in here I've just added in the uh, blue wires for the M-Clear switch. 
So this is kind of explaining that. If you have your switch in the way, you can't set your picket in here if you're going to stand it up. But I use a wire on mine, so I don't have any issues with the switch being this close to the plug. And I like the little area out here to the left so that I'm able to build in some other components if I want. On the LEDs, there's a longer leg and a shorter leg. And the long leg is anode and the short leg is a cathode. The cathode's the negative. The cathode is also indicated by this flat spot on the LED. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing these LEDs in here. I'm skipping a row between each. I'm placing the short leg into the negative and the long leg into the uh, breadboard uh, up here in the component area. Here I'm uh, just kind of shaping the uh, resistors. And I'm going to place one of those for every row of the LEDs I just put in. I'm trying to keep them all in a straight line here across the breadboard. You can see kind of how these wires go in between this stuff. So as you can see, they're, uh, they're all in line so that uh, I can tell what resistor goes with which LED. And, uh, and now for some jumpers. Uh, the jumpers, you could probably hardwire some of this if you wanted to. I personally don't. Uh, I don't because I like to, if I'm writing a program, I like to be able to play with the wires and stuff. This yellow wire actually moved down a uh, next to the other two in a second. I'm not quite sure why I put that there, but I'll move it down here in a second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wire pins 5, 6, and 7 from the, the 12F683 over to the, uh, the LEDs. Uh, actually connecting them to the side of the resistor here. So I take uh, pin uh, 7, 6, and 5 and stick these in just like so. And here I move the yellow lead down. Now all these leads. So now I have two contacts on uh, pins 5, 6, and 7 as you can see there. And then I have two more. Uh, jumpers from the other side of the pick, pins 2 and 3, that go to uh, the LEDs out here. Pin 2 goes to the 5th uh, LED, and then uh, pin 3 goes to the 4th LED. I'm not sure if this causes problems. It, it may not, but... And what I mean by this is just when you're programming, you kind of think of things in order, and, and these two, I believe, are, would be considered to be reversed, but... This is uh, the way I've set it up here. And then what we're going to add here is, uh, since we're going to use an input on this 12F683, we're going to add this uh, jumper to pin 4 of the 12F683, and we'll run this to ground to keep that low. And then we'll add a uh, positive to the uh, picket connection. So the picket provides 5 volts of power. Now making this connection runs 5 volts completely around the board. And this is our uh, 10 microfarad capacitor. Take note of the polarity on this. It's got a negative side and a positive side. It's indicated by the negative sign on this. Also it has a long lead and a short lead. So the, uh, the short lead is the uh, negative and the long lead is the positive. And I just connect the positive to pin 1 and the negative to uh, ground. And something I always do on my boards is I'll mark with the Sharpie the uh, where the plug for the picket 2 goes. This just helps me make sure that I don't get it in there wrong. 
Sharpie rubs off pretty easy, and I'll also write on the side of the board what uh, it was designed for. I'll pick it plugs in here. Uh, pick it plugged in, and uh, this baby's ready to go. Uh, again, if you stand it up, you'll have to move the switch over a little bit. That pretty much concludes uh, part three. Uh, look for us in uh, part four where we're going to write our first uh, program. And I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you in part four.